Hey achievers, what do you think? Will dilution strengthen or weaken an acid? What kind of a question is this? You must be thinking that by diluting an acid, it's going to weaken it, right? But the answer is not that straightforward. I know where this assumption is coming from. Like when we talk about acid being diluted, it's harmless, it's weak. And when we talk about concentrated acids, we say that, you know, we have to be really careful as it can cause acid burns, right? So we tend to believe that dilute acids are weak and concentrated acids are strong. But the reality is completely different. Now, this is not the universal truth, okay? So let's dive into the world of acids and figure out what the truth is. To answer this, first thing we need to know is what are acids? So, acids actually release H plus ions in water. For example, we talk about HCl. So, it's going to break into H plus and Cl minus ions. Similarly, if we talk about acetic acid, it's also going to break into H plus and acetate ions. You see these H plus ions out there? Now, the presence of these H plus ions is why they are being classified as acids. All right, so now you know what are acids. Now you know how acids react with water. Next important thing to know is how exactly concentration and strength is different from each other. So, let's do one thing. And this. All right, when we talk about concentration of an acid, it basically refers to the amount of H plus ions present per unit volume of an aqueous solution of acids. Now, here we have two glasses. In the first glass, we have acid. In the second one, we have water. Let's dilute it, okay? So, let's add acid to water drop by drop. All right, let's see what's going to happen now. The acid would be diluted as the volume of water is much higher than the volume of acid. And because of this difference in volume, the H plus ions spread out over a large amount of water and thereby making the acid dilute, as you can see. But hey, what if we keep increasing the amount of acid that is being added to water? What's going to happen then, as I'm just increasing the amount right now? If we continue doing this, the acid overpowers the water and soon there will be a lot of H plus ions making it a concentrated acid. Alright, let's switch back to the main screen now. And hey, now you would know what dilute acids are, right? So, these are the acidic solutions with less number of H plus ions in unit volume of solution and concentrated will be just the opposite. So, when we talk about concentrated acids, these are the solutions that contain large amount of H plus ions in unit volume of the solution. But is all this going to affect strength? Not really. So let's understand what strength means first. Strength basically refers to how easily the acid can dissociate. Now, let's do one thing. Let's compare HCl and CH3COH. That means hydrochloric acid and acetic acid to understand this better. We'll start with HCl. So, let's say we have about 100 molecules of HCl which are being added to water. Now, we know HCl is going to dissociate into H plus and Cl minus ions, right? So, from 100 molecules that we have of HCl, we will get 100 H plus ions and 100 Cl minus ions. It's completely dissociating, isn't it? So, in a way, it is a strong acid. Why? Because strong acids dissociate completely in their aqueous solution. Now, let's see what's the case with acetic acid. Again, in this case, we are going to take the same number of molecules. So, let's say we have 100 molecules that are being added to water. Again, it's going to break into H plus and acetate ions. And ideally, we should get 100 H plus ions, isn't it? But this is not happening over here. The reality is completely different. Instead, for 100 molecules of the acid, we are actually getting just one H plus ion, just one acetate ion and the rest of the molecules remain as is. You see this, you know, inability to dissociate over here? That is actually what is making acetic acid a weak acid. So, weak acids, they dissociate partially in the aqueous solution. So, the strong acids that we have, say hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, they would dissociate completely in water. And when we talk about weak acids, 
like we just saw acetic acid or phosphoric acid they are going to dissociate partially so now you know about strong and weak acids as well you know about the difference between concentration and strength as well so let's get back to our initial question now will dilution strengthen or weaken an acid well when we talk about strong acids it doesn't going to make much of a difference why because strong acids they dissociate completely only but it's going to change everything for a weak acid weak acids are actually going to dissociate more upon dilution so if we add water to like if we are diluting say acetic acid now the undissociated molecules are going to break further and they're going to release more h plus ions so yes we can definitely say that you know diluting weak acids is actually going to strengthen it but before we close think about this one what makes an acid harmful is it strength or is it concentration what do you think well 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 the concentration of h plus ions is that's present in an acid is actually going to determine how harmful or corrosive it can be now more the number of h plus ions more reactive it's going to be so i hope you've understood this part and by the way the dilution effect that we've been talking about has a name to it so explore more about this figure out the name come back and mention the law in the comment section below and if you found this video informative if you found this video interesting quickly hit the like share and subscribe button and hey don't forget to hit the bell icon too take care bye bye